Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Today we are celebrating this awesome series with four cakes. Two that took me 10 minutes and two that took me 10 hours or really like less than 10 hours. But it sounds better if I say 10 hours, right? So that's what I'll say. Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Mackie. Let's get into this video. So the first cake we are going to be creating is my 10 minute Winter Soldier cake. Now, if you saw this on Instagram, then you know that I was very kind of very disappointed with this cake. It's not that it turned out bad. It's just that there it yeah, God, this just looks like an all American boy. It doesn't look like the Winter Soldier. This could be anyone. So much of Bucky's features get lost because this is a kawaii cake. So instead of this looking like the Winter Soldier, this looks like Brian. This looks like your friend Brian with brown hair. It could be Daniel. This could be Bob. I don't know. This could be anybody. I wish I had incorporated like a metal shoulder at least so that we could hint at his metal arm. I mean, I needed to incorporate a little bit more of the Winter Soldier elements and not just this. Not a bad looking cake, but I wish it looked more like the Winter Soldier. Now let's move on to the more detailed version. Now the picture that I used to create this cake, Bucky is like turned to the right a little bit. So I had to cut my cake at an angle just so that it would match the picture perfectly. Now I really loved Bucky's journey throughout this entire series. It didn't occur to me how much of the terrible things that he did were under mind control. He's almost like a prisoner in his own body having to perform these terrible tasks. Now one of the things I learned is that Sebastian Stan is pretty handsome. <laughs> you know in the previous films he always had like that shaggy hair like that caveman vibe going on and I was like all right they could have picked a better looking actor but here yo He's like, he got like a GQ look going on all the time. I'm here for it, Sebastian. That just made making this cake even more stressful because I was like, it, this this cake needs to be as handsome as Sebastian Stan. Now, one of the biggest problems I had with this cake was creating the facial hair. It took a lot longer than I thought because I had to create each individual hair with a brush stroke, you know, and I didn't want any of the hairs to look like super long. Like maybe he had missed a spot when he was shaving and now there's just like stray long hair just like on his chin. Nah, I didn't want that. So I really took my time to make sure that I could get his beard or his like five o'clock shadow just right. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I'm curious. On a scale from 1 to 10, what do you think? It's hard to cut into a face cake, you guys. It's even harder to cut into a good looking face cake. <laughs> oh, Sebastian, you're such a good looking guy. Good for you. Good for you and that metal armor, yeah. Now let's move on to the Falcon. <laughs> what is this video? I don't know. Now I was pleased with this Falcon cake because it actually looked like the Falcon. You have so many Falcon details that I was able to incorporate into the Kawaii version. Kawaii version may not look like Anthony Mackie, but it does look like the Falcon uh, because we have the signature goggles. However, when I was rolling out all the fondant, I had to like roll it out extra fast because creating the goggles, it just meant that there were three more pieces of fondant that I had to cut. So I wanted to make sure that I just like rushed through all of the basic stuff oh and i just i rushed through the skin part the bottom and the sides of this cake really look like garbage you guys but i was able to fix it when i was adding the black for his hairline that really fixed the top of this cake but for the most part the bottom is still a mess i wish i'd chosen a different facial expression too because it doesn't look like a smile especially when you add his like goatee Nah, I don't know. Are you happy? I don't know. Why is your tongue out? <laughs> but besides that, I think I did a pretty good job. Good job. That does look like the Kawaii Falcon. Okay, I'll take it. Now, I was going to create a realistic Falcon, but I cheated a little bit. I looked at the toy leaks and I realized that he becomes Captain America. So I was like, you know what? Instead of creating a realistic Falcon cake, let's just create him as Captain America. So after I finished this cake, I realized that I couldn't post it until after the season finale because I didn't want to spoil it for anyone who didn't know. <laughs> so that's why you guys are getting it the week after. Now this cake didn't take as long as the Bucky cake because I didn't have to worry about the eyes so much. He's wearing the visor, so I just filled in the eye sockets with cake ball dough and then just continued working on it normally. I don't know why, but the brown fondant cracked so much more than the white fondant. Maybe it's because of all the food 
food coloring, but if you look up close, you'll see that there's a lot of cracks on his nose, but if, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't have noticed, huh? Well, maybe there aren't cracks. <laughs> now, creating the facial hair for the Winter Soldier was like good practice for Anthony Mackie's facial hair. While his facial hair was easy to create, I screwed up on his hairline <laughs> so bad. I knew I was gonna save time not having to create his eyes, but all of that time was spent on recreating his hairline. I don't know why I gave him like this really big forehead at first. And so I had to rip off all that fondant and then recreate it. Cause I didn't want him to look like, oh my gosh, like he's balding. Look at this. It looks like he's balding. It looks like Captain America before his hair transplant surgery. But that's okay, because after I added his signature goggles, I went back and I fixed his hairline. So it looks like he just left the barbershop. Yo, that dude is fresh. And voila, my Captain America cake is complete. I'm excited for Captain America 4, man. The thing that I loved about this was that he chose to be Captain America. Steve Rogers thought that he was worthy, but he made the choice to assume the mantle. That's, f oh God, good for you homie i'm curious which one of these cakes do you like better do you like the winter soldier cake better or do you like this captain america cake oh it's so weird calling him captain america not falcon huh i'm gonna have to get used to that and i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys are ready for loki i'm excited for that i love you i'll see you very soon bye